YouTube. In today's video, I'm showcasing my top five SMG loadouts in Warzone Season 5 Reloaded. Because if you guys didn't already see with the update, we got a ton of different nerfs and buffs. And I've been telling you guys that my list has changed. So, of course, I wanted to go back through, give you guys the updated list, and tell you exactly what you need to be running in the current meta. Before hopping to anything, I want to give a huge shout out to Delta, JC, and Cyberfox for my post notifications on. If you guys want a chance of getting in my next video, make sure you guys go down below and hit that big red subscribe button, as well as leaving a like and a comment saying notice and watch the full video through. But like I said, after all the nerfs and buffs, my list has completely changed. So without further ado, stop directly into loading number one. Loading number one, if you guys haven't been seeing the past few videos, is actually the MP40. It took that jump because it actually got buffed and it feels immaculate on the map. So hopping directly into the build, of course, with it being a Vanguard SMG, you have the recoil booster on for your muzzle, giving you that fire rate boost overall, letting you kill way faster. And then you also mix in the VDD 189mm short barrel, giving you that damage range, bullet velocity, and limb damage overall, letting you kill faster, hit harder, and get closer to the hit skin. And then like I always tell you guys, the optics are 100% of the time personal preference you can run whatever you want here but for me i just prefer the slate reflector and then just like normal for my mp40 i have the krosnik 33 and folding stock giving you sprint fire speed and movement speed making you so much faster on the map and holding on to a little bit more accuracy compared to the remove stock and then of course this is very self-explanatory you have the m1941 hand stop just giving you that recoil control with the 45 round garinko mag giving you recoil control movement speed ads speed and fire rate mixing with the rest of the build making you faster on the map letting you kill faster making you more of a beam and making you more snappy and then of course mixing with the barrel you have the length and ammo type giving you even more bullet velocity again getting you closer to the hit skin with the fabric grip giving you that ads speed sprint fire speed and hit fire accuracy, making you a beam in a ton of different ways as well as more snappy again with brace for your perk one and quick for your perk two but overall this is my full mp40 build in warzone season five reloaded which in my opinion is my favorite and best smg in this season after the update so you guys gotta go through give the entire build try some of the highest kill game you guys get with it stop for the do stop directly into loading number two loading number two is the armaguera 43 which was one of my favorite smgs from last season it still is now it's still absolutely incredible as well even after the nerf it caught so happened directly into the build of course the same thing as normal it is a vanguard smg so for the muzzle you're almost always gonna have that recoil booster and then i have the body 570 precision barrel giving you accuracy making you more controllable giving you that headshot damage on you kill faster and that bolt velocity getting you close to the hit scan but i will say as well the 315 barrel is also very good and then of course again you have the slate reflector but like i always tell you guys this is 100 percent personal preference with the ta skeletal stock giving you aim walking movement speed aim walking steadiness ads speed and initial firing recoil overall making you way more of a beam and giving you that strafe speed to make you unguardable speaking of strafe speed you have the sg98 compact giving you even more of that again making you completely unguardable mid fight and then you have the nine millimeter 55 round mag just give you that mag size of course it does slow you down a little bit which absolutely sucks it's not too noticeable though i will say but the 55 round mag which by the way was a 60 round mag before before they nerfed it is more than helpful and then of course again mixing it with the barrel you have the length and ammo type and the grooved grip giving you aim walking movement speed again that strafe speed horizontal recoil control ads firing move speed and aiming stability again like i said mixing it with the sg98 compact and the stock making you super unguardable in fight as well as snappier and more accurate and then you have hard scope for your perk one and quick for your perk two but overall this is my full loadout number two the armaguera 43 which even after the update with its nerf it's still absolutely incredible around the map so you guys gotta go through give this whole build a try as well i'm telling you guys that's my loading number two so for the do stop directly into loading number three loading number three is actually the marco five which i I think i just showcased in a short end of video not too long ago and this is my no recoil build which there's a ton of different variations to it but hopping directly into the build of course you guys could probably guess it for the muzzle you have the recoil booster giving you that fire rate letting you shred through people way faster and then of course you have the 34204 p barrel giving you more accuracy making you more controllable of course that bolt velocity flinch resistance and reducing the scope swing gun bob overall getting you close to the hit scan and making you way more accurate and then of course i don't even have to explain this but i have the slate reflector and then you have the fr stock giving you again initial fire and recoil recoil recovery ads speed and movement speed one of the very important attachments on this build because it's making you way faster on the map and more accurate and then like i was saying before this is my no recoil build so i have the m1941 hand stop just giving you that recoil control but if you do want to speed it up a little bit you can use the skeletal and then you have the 64 round nambu mag giving you hit fire actually recoil control and mag size overall making you more accurate but most importantly giving you that mag size which is very helpful because you are burning through your ammo and then you have the length and ammo type giving you even more bow velocity again getting close to the hit skin with the taped grip giving you aiming stability and movement speed web saw quickness and sprint fire speed again making you so much faster on the map and a little bit more accurate with momentum for your perk one and quick for your perk two but overall 
overall, this is my full Marco 5 build. I'm telling you guys, it is absolutely disgusting. Of course, there is a few attachments you can swap around to speed it up a little bit. But I'm telling you guys, this thing is one of my favorite SMGs in the game. And you guys got to go through and give this whole build a try. Like I said, man, that's my loading number three on the list. So without further ado, let's hop directly into loading number four. Loading number four is the H4 Blixen, which I don't even have to explain. You guys probably know ever since this gun was even added to the game, it's been one of the most dominant guns for that entire time. They've nerfed it, I think, like 10 times, and it's still fantastic. You know what I'm saying? So I'm directly into the build. Of course, again, for the fourth build in a row, you have the recoil booster on for your muzzle, giving you that fire rate boost, letting you shred through people incredibly fast. And then, of course, I've always ran the Bergstrom 17 inch F3 barrel on mine, giving you recoil control and accuracy, bolt velocity, and flinch resistance. Again, making you a beam in every possible way, as well as getting closer to hit scan. I'm telling you guys, this barrel makes you feel like a mini assault rifle, and you can really use the gun from any point of the map you want. And then, of course, I have the slate reflector on because just my favorite scope out of the Vanguard scopes for the SMGs. But I always tell you guys, this is personal preference. And then, like I was saying with the barrel, it makes you feel like a mini assault rifle which makes you kind of sluggish so i toss on the remove stock giving you all that mobility back with the movement speed sprint fire speed and ads speed making you way faster on the map and then just like the other smgs i have the sg98 compact giving you that strafe speed making you unguardable mid fight with the 54 round gorinko mag giving you recoil control and accuracy making you a beam increasing the torso damage letting you kill faster and of course that mag size which is always more than helpful and then of course this is very self-explanatory you have the length and ammo type giving you that bolt velocity and then you have the grooved grip mixing it with the sg98 compact making you super Super unguardable mid fight again with fleet for your perk one and quick for your perk two overall that's my loading number four in the h4 blicks and one of my favorite guns that's ever been added into the game it's been so dominant for so long and like i said this thing's been nerfed like 10 times and it's still super good so you guys got to go through give the entire build try some of the highest kill game you guys get with the blicks in off the do top directly into the last loading loading number five of course this gun coming off one of the most dominant metas we've had in a long time is the ppsh 41 which is absolutely disgusting it just recently got nerfed like i said with the season five reloaded up update and it still is really good obviously it's still my top five but it's not that number one smg like by far that we had before the update so i'm directly into the build of course i always got that recoil booster on for my vanguard smgs giving you that fire rate boost and then i run the 230 mm bo 3 p barrel giving you hip fire actually hit fire recoil recovery normal recoil recovery and that fire rate again mixing with the rest of the build making you a beam in every possible way as well as letting you kill even faster and then of course i have the slate reflector but i always tell you guys this is personal preference and then you have the remove stock giving you hip fire actually movement speed and sprint fire speed making you faster on the map and more accurate from the hip but if you guys saw my last ppsh video i actually swapped to the empress custom either or is really really good but the empress custom makes it more of an ads build and then you have the carver foregrip giving you that vertical recoil control and hip fire again making you more accurate from the hip and controlling that recoil which is very helpful after the update i feel like the ppsh is super bouncy and then you have the nambu 64 round mag which by the way was a 71 round mag but it gives you recoil control and accuracy again like i was just saying very helpful of course that fire rate mixing with the barrel and the recoil booster as well as the base fire rate it already has which is absolutely ridiculous and then of course that mag size because you are definitely burning through your ammo and then you have the length and ammo type giving you that bolt velocity again getting you close to the hit skin and then you have the fabric grip giving you that ads speed at sprint fire speed and hit fire actually again mixing with the rest of the build making you more snappy making you faster on the map and again making you more accurate from the hip and then you have tight grip for your perk one and quick for your perk two but overall this is my full ppsh 41 build like i was saying you guys can swap out the stock if you want but this isn't that number one smg it was just two weeks ago it definitely dropped down the list by far it's my number five obviously but it's still super good so you guys got to go through give the entire build a try some of the highest kill game you guys get with this ppsh 41 and i know this is my top five list but i also do have two honorable mentions honorable mention number one is the cold war mp5 i absolutely love this thing i've been using it a lot recently after the update and it feels incredible so of course i have the agency suppressor tiger team spotlight raider stock snag 50 round drum and that bruiser grip it's super fast around the map it gives you that great mobility it hits super hard and like i said man it just feels incredible so you guys got to go through give the cold war mp5 a try as well and this is my first honorable mention so for the do let's hop directly into honorable mention number two honorable mention number two for the smgs is the ots9 i absolutely love this thing i've been doing a lot of testing with it and it still just feels incredible it's one of the most nostalgic weapons we have because at the ending of verdansk this was one of the longest lasting metas we ever had right next to the em2 so this ots is super fun to use but it's also super good so you guys got to go through give this whole build a try as well because you got the Gru suppressor task force barrel skeletal stock 40 round fast mag and of course that serpent wrap like i'm saying the mobility is just incredible it kills super fast and it's honestly super easy to use so like i said go through give the ots a try as well that's my last honorable mention but overall those are all seven loadouts in my top smg list after the season five reloaded update you guys got to go through give every single loadout a try and if they help you guys at all go down to the comments below and tell me that they do and also if you guys enjoyed the list whatsoever hit that big red subscribe button with notifications because we post every single day short form content long form content and we stream every single day so you guys want to be notified for everything like i said hit that big red subscribe button with notifications on that's it for the video